Hello, everybody. All right. So first question about making paper airplanes and paper airplane knowledge. Anyone want to take a guess when the first paper airplane was made? What year was the first paper airplane made? Put it in chat. Eighteen twenty, okay. Eighteen twenty three, one thousand one, nineteen. See, Stephen's closest. Nineteen hundred, a little higher, a little higher than nineteen hundred. Nineteen twenty, a little lower. <laughs> nineteen cent in 2000, 1915, 19, So, nineteen oh nine, okay. Nineteen oh nine was when the first paper airplane was made, and the reason why was, I don't know if any of you guys ever heard of the Wright brothers. The Wright brothers were the guys who actually really wanted to make airplanes work. And they really worked hard on trying to figure out how a plane could fly in the air, how we could get it working. And so everybody was just infatuated with planes. And so then people started working on how to make paper airplanes. And if you only have one piece of paper, that's fine. We're gonna be showing you though four different paper airplanes that you can use. Um, and you did a school project on them, Donald. Awesome. So you could probably teach us. Um, so the other thing that's interesting about paper airplanes, I just want to tell everybody before we start, is that there is actually a Toy Hall of Fame. Who knew? And the paper airplane was put into the Toy Hall of Fame back in 2017, not that, not that long ago. So that's all the boring facts from me. We're going to go to Miss Yamara, and she is going to show us how to make paper airplanes and, and I'm going to try to and see if I can make them because <laughs> I've made paper airplanes, but I'm not very good at it. So hopefully I can be a lot better. So I'm going to mute myself, mute my camera and, and hey. you know, it's up to you. Go ahead. Hey guys. Good morning. My name is Yamara and I am so excited to be with you guys today. I know Mr. Sheik said that he's gonna try to make a air, paper airplane cause I heard he's not too good at stuff, but this he's gonna be good at, I promise. Um, so we're gonna get started. Um, we're gonna make four different kinds of airplanes. And I know um, me and Mr. Sheik were talking earlier and he was naming and giving me some, some more interesting facts of all the different type of airplanes that that there are, you know, people have tried to make. So today we're gonna make four. So can you guys give me like a name of a type of air, paper airplane that we think that you think we're gonna make? If you wanna put it in the chat. So we're gonna be making, oh, it doesn't matter what kind of paper, you can use like regular computer paper is fine. So we're gonna be making the jet, yes, the glider. I see someone write, wrote the glider. We're gonna be making the bug, one called the bug, and we're gonna be making one called the dart. So this is the book actually that I got for me and my two boys who also attend PA virtual. And it has different, uh, different kinds of sheets of paper and it guides you on how to make um, all these different kinds of airplanes. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna start our level of difficulty is gonna be easy and then it's gonna get hard. So we're going to start and we're going to make the jet. All right, Maddie, you have this actual book, so maybe you can help teach us. Yay, <laughs> Maddie, cool. And someone else mentioned the schoolboy. That's kind of advanced there. So you might be an expert, Stephen, okay? No, you um, don't need any scissors. Yep, no scissors. Just your paper in your hands, 10 fingers. So here we go. So I'm just gonna change my camera view to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing as I guide you through the steps of making our first paper airplane, which we're gonna make is the jet. So I did some test runs myself and um, this is what the jet looks like. So this is what we're gonna make, all right? So here we go. So let me know if you can see my webcam and see my paper. I know it's it. upside down, so my apologies for that. I am going to um, try my best to like do the step and then flip so you guys can do it. So the first thing what we're gonna do to make our jet, let me just move the extra sheet of paper, is we're just gonna fold it long ways like this. If you can see that, and we're just gonna fold it in half. You can't see, can you see now?
You said it's a black screen. Oh, do you see Mr. Sheik? Maybe you have to click on my name, Yamar Nolan. You're muted, Sheik. You're muted. Oh, I'm talking and no one can hear me. <laughs> uh, so, Stephen, tell me, what can you see right now? Can you just see a blank screen or do you see... And Donald, you see you see me or you see a piece of paper? Blank screen. This is what I want you to do. Um, Stephen, go, if you can see all the, all the people that are... Um, on camera, right? Like you see me, my mind says Sheik M. I want you to look for the one that says Yamara Nolan and click on that, okay? And that should be able to show you what's on screen. And I'll continue to work with you in chat, but uh, Yamara, you can continue. Okay, awesome. So like I said, we're gonna fold it in half, like that long ways. And we are just gonna push down on that crease really good. So that's why you just slide our finger through. All right, so everybody did step one, fold your paper in half, awesome. Then we are going to open it up and you should all see the line in the middle where we made our fold. Awesome. Next, we're gonna grab one corner on the top and we're gonna bring it to the middle like this. Do y'all see that? Gonna bring it right to the middle like this and fold. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Bring to the middle and then fold. So we should have something that kind of looks like, you know, like a house top, the roof or something. So that's what it should look like. Awesome. So then we're gonna kind of take one corner we're going to focus on the line okay not the corner but the line on the top of the sheet of paper and we're going to kind of bring this to the middle like this all right and we're going to push it down did you guys all see that so this is where we were and then we're going to bring we're going to meet this line excuse me this hot line we're going to bring it to the middle all right, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna take this side and we're gonna bring the whole thing to the middle. I'm kind of gonna move my sheet of paper like this sideways and we're gonna bring that to the middle like that. So then this is what your paper should look like. You all see that? Nice. This is what your paper should look like. Good job. All right. Good job, so everyone. Turn it back towards me. So then we're going to focus again on, um, so we did, I'm sorry, I have my, so we have this and this. Okay, awesome. And then this is what it looks like. So then we're going to fold the whole thing in half. And this is what we should have. You guys have that? The whole thing in half should be like one big triangle, long triangle. I see some of you are a little ahead and that's fine. Ooh. If you guys know how to do it, that's okay. Nice. Okay. So then we're going to kind of face it sideways like this. And then we're going to focus on this line right here on the top and we're going to line it up with the bottom ed, edge of the paper. And we're just gonna push it down like that. And then we're gonna flip it around and do the same on the other side. We're gonna just kind of cut it in half and then bring this line to the end right here. And that, my friend, we made our first paper airplane, which is called the jet. Can everybody show me what you've made? I'm really curious to see what you guys made, how it looks. Uh -oh. oh, I Steven looks good. Maddie. Great job, Maddie. Okay, Steven. Oh. See you, Emma. 
Sabrina, Isabel, you guys did a great job. Ella and Ava. Katie. Ooh, Katie. Awesome. You guys did a great job. Let's so, see, she got a little extra twist there. Okay. Now for me, I mean, mine is kind of okay, I guess. You did good. <laughs> That's really good. So let's test it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Nice. And a little trick. Okay, now everybody go get it. I have to go get mine too. <laughs> Please try not to hit your dog or your cat or your turtle. I just hit my dog in the back and he's not happy about it. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> uh, okay. Yep, go ahead. So then a good trick, if it's giving you some difficulty, we can make some, um, some wing tips. So what we can do is while we have it completely folded all the, all the way down, we're just gonna kind of, oh, let me move this piece of paper. We're gonna just take the wings and just fold it up gently. It, does, it doesn't have to be perfect. And we can do the same thing on the other side, just fold it up a little bit. And then we have some wing tips on it. Do you guys see that? So that gives it some more like aerodynamics and makes it go even faster. So that's a good trick to do. And if it's, and you can manipulate how it flies by either making your wings go up or bending them down or making them straight. So that's a little tip or trick on how to make your, your jet. So I hope you guys had fun making the jet. And now we're gonna move into the dart. So let me know when you guys all have your second sheet of paper ready. And then we will get started on making our dart. And once again, guys, I'll be putting this on YouTube um, sometime this weekend. So if you guys decide that you want to make paper airplanes this weekend, totally we'll have this instruction up here. But it looks like um, most of you are ready with the second sheet of paper. Um, some of you are still playing with the, with your first jet, which I totally get because I'm kind of doing the same thing. It's kind um, of fun. But we are going to get ready to make, you said the dart, right? Yes, we're making the dart. So the dart and the, and the jet look similar. So I just wanted to show like, this is the jet. See, it has like the little wing tip. And then this is the dart. So they look they look similar, but we're we're gonna see um, the difference, and especially on how it flies. So let's get started with that. So the steps are kind of similar. We are folding our paper in half again. And we are just pressing along the crease. All righty, everybody did step one. Yes, just like that. All right. So then, I'm so sorry, my kids are kind of loud. Do you hear them? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so then we, um, oh, actually we keep, we keep it folded, my apologies. We keep it folded just like that. And I'm just gonna flip it where the open side is opening to my right, but it's, it's, it doesn't have to be, but that's kind of what I just did. So then what you're gonna do is take the one corner and you're gonna kind of like peel it back and make a crease like that. So what I did was peel it back this corner and I made it align with the center fold and I did it like that, all right? Then we're going to do it again. We're going to align this line, not the point, but the line right here. And we're going to bring this to the middle and fold again. Now, is that the rest of the sheet of paper? You're bringing the, the rest of the sheet of paper to the middle? Yep. So first we started with a half sheet. Then we folded, folded, like kind of peeled it, brought it there. So if you oh, see, no. I'm kind of holding up what I did. No, so you wanna unfold that. Okay. Okay, so you see the, the, the line, the angle? Uh -huh. First fold right here. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to bring that whole line to the middle, not the point, the whole line. Gotcha. Okay. To the middle. And you kind of want to get something that looks like this. So more like this then? Yes, wow. exactly. Exactly. Just like that. You want to, you guys want us to kind of start over? Because I see a lot of you are a little confused here. If you want to start over, just put in chat. We can kind of start over. We only did two folds. Yep, I'm more than happy to grab another sheet of paper and, and do it again. Yeah, let's do this. Let's start back from the beginning. Sure. So we're going to take our sheet of paper. And we are just going to fold it in half. Always like this. Well, is everybody ready before we fold in oh, half? Yeah. yeah. Just give me a thumbs up if you're ready. No, not yet. Okay. okay so Where's yes, yes. All right. All right. I think we're ready to go. Okay. We'll start. Okay. Over. So we got our, our computer paper, sheet of paper, and we are just going to fold it in half long way like this. Okay. As even as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so we did that. And I'm just gonna, I like to kind of, all right. So we all did that, right? Fold it in half. Now the first fold is with the corner. So you're gonna take your top corner and you're gonna bring it to the middle, your middle fold, and you're gonna press it down and make your full first fold. Okay. So I know automatically we want to take this point and bring it here, but that's not how we get the, the, um, the fold that we need. We want to focus on, on this long part and we want to bring that long part, kind of going to have to use your thumb to guide it and bring the whole sheet and that line and bring it to the center fold like that. So that's what you want to do. Yes. Yes, Stephen. Good like job, Ellen Ava. Yes. So just like that. Then we're going to kind of do that um, one more time. So we're going to take the, again, the line, we're focusing on the line and we are bringing that. So it's going to get thin. Sorry. It's going to get thin again. So we're going to bring this whole line and we're going to bring this whole line to the middle. So you're going to have to use your thumb and guide it because the paper is getting thick. So it's getting a little harder to fold. And you just want to kind of press it down. And then this is what you get. Do you guys see that? Good. Awesome. So that's the one side. And guess what? We are going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to flip our paper over. Okay. And again, we're going to start with the, the corner point. That's the only thing we kind of bring to the middle fold, center fold, press down. Then we're going to focus on this line, not the point, but the line. And we want to bring the whole thing to the center fold. Like that. Awesome. And then we're going to do that one more time. And this is where it gets a little, like I said, hard because the paper is getting thicker because we keep folding it and folding it. And then we're going to fold the whole line and bring it to the center fold. Yes, chic. All right. Look at oh. you. It's just kind of look like that. Yes, and it should look like this. And this is our dart. Good job, Stephen. Good job, Maddie. Emma. You guys are doing a great job. Awesome. Great job, Katie. Oh, look at you, Willow. Okay. All right, Banyan. Yeah, yeah. Now, is there any are... modifications you can make to this as well? So the modification, like they said, the, the you can definitely give it some wing tips too. So you can, I mean, it's better if I, so you can give it some wing tips too. It's always cool to do that. And you just kind of fold the little, 
end up. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you flip it and do a little wing tip there as well. And then that's how you have your 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 dart. So it looks more sleeker than your than your jet. You guys can kind of see the difference. All right. Are you guys ready to test it? Yeah, I hope so. All right. On the count of three, we're going to throw it. One, two, three. And mine's kind of stopped right in the middle and then just fell. <laughs> <laughs> but I put some, I, what I did, I had put some wing tips on there. So it caught a lot more air. It didn't move as fast. You guys can play around with that. You can even do like little tears and make it a little more what they call aerodynamic. That just yes. means faster or slower. Right. So but thank you, Fair. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to do some stuff here. <laughs> but I'm more interested in seeing how you guys are doing. Yeah. How it's working out. Um, and I see Hector, you're getting a little bit of help. There's nothing wrong with getting a little bit of help. It took me, uh, let's just say that I'm a lot older than you guys. And this is my first time I'm actually doing really nice paper airplanes. So you're learning way faster than I am. <laughs> now we're going to be doing two more, right? Yes. Yeah. So the level of difficulty is going to get a little bit. And, and this is actually, I just want to point this out because Danny has a good point And I was wondering as well, is there any way that you can, when you're doing your folds, if you could either make that camera full screen or move the camera back a little bit, it's a little harder to see the folds. Sure. Um, if not, what I'll do guys, as I'm following along, I'll try to fold on, on my camera as well. Now, granted, I won't be on the table, I'll be kind of holding it up, but it might be work, look a little easier for you too. Okay, I will try. I know I have a, a webcam that isn't that big, but I will um, definitely try. So the, the next one we're gonna do, because <clears throat> the next two ones are a little bit harder. Um, it's called the glider. And I'm just getting my instructions out and I, let me test out the camera, see if you guys get a little better view. Hmm. You want to see an example of the glider? Okay. Yeah. You're, you're muted, Sheik. Yep, it, it's okay. What you could do is uh, just have it the way that you had it before, because now it's actually even closer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and what I'll do is that as we're folding along, I'll kind of show on my, my camera as well. Okay. Okay. My apologies. I know this is okay. So you wanted to see an example of the glider. So the glider looks like it's a little bit. Oh, let me put my other camera, but here that's what the glider looks like. So it's a little wider. Yeah. And let me just, I need yes. some of that fancy airplane paper. That's what I need in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's really, it's really cool because it, the paper, the book gives you like kind of, if you see it has like dotted lines and stuff. So it already helps you kind of know where to fold as you're following the instructions. All right, everybody, we have our paper. We're ready to make the glider here. All right. So the, with the glider, you know what? I can start off on camera let, so people can see what I'm doing. I can definitely do that. So what we're going to do, especially since the level of difficulty is a little bit harder. So what we're going to do is fold our paper in four. So first we're going to just fold it in half like this. And we're going to fold it in half again. So we're folding it in half this way to make like a square, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is step one. Okay. All right. All right. So now I do have Teach, to great job. Great job, switch, Ella. Switch camera view. So now that we did that, we're going to open it up like this. So our paper should be long, like. And you should have four squares, so. Yes. And hold it just like Mr. Sheik is holding it. You want yep. it long ways. Yep. Like that. All right. So then once you did that, Oh no, I'm sorry, hold it. Sorry, um, 
vertical. Like this? I mean, horizontal. Yep, like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, sorry. So like if you're holding a picture, not if like if you're holding a, a Word doc. Yes, uh, exactly. So I know this is kind of out of frame, but this is how I'm holding. Holding it like this. Yep, exactly. All right, so then what we're going to do is fold it down right to the middle line. And I know you don't see that, sorry. So you're gonna so take the top. See this? You wanna fold it right to the middle crease here. Yes. So then it should look like this, right? Yep, mm -hmm. but what, turn it around, but yep. The fold like should, this? yep, mm -hmm. Okay. So, exactly, so that's how you want it. Okay. All right, so then we're gonna take our two points over here and over here, and we are going to make them meet in the middle. So we're gonna make them kind of meet in the middle like this. And give me two seconds. I want you guys to get this right because this is, like I said, this gets a little bit harder. So you want them to meet in the middle like this. So I'm guessing it should look kind of like this. Um, no. <laughs> no, no. No, so do you see my camera? Okay. So you want the two points to kind of just touch in the middle like this. Oh, so you want them to touch in the middle where the fold is. So mm -hmm. you see how you had you guys get your fold on the end like this? And a lot of you got it right. You want to fold it so that way it kind of only goes to where the the, the your your uh, bottom of your fold is. Yeah, so it's like the two points are going to meet. Yep right here at the bottom of your first fold. And I'm gonna keep it here for a while. So everybody understands where this fold goes. And I'm going to- it Should switch. be kind of like this then? Exactly. So guys, if you see, it was like this, and then we fold it so that way they meet in the middle like that. Almost looks like a little crown. Okay. So I'm just gonna, yes, it should look like this. Good. All right. All right. So, and let's, I just want to back up real quick. So I know somebody was just started. Uh, you want to fold it in half first, right? And then you want to fold it again. So you want to fold it almost like a pizza and then fold it again like this. So that way you have four squares. Then once you have your four squares, you want to hold it kind of like this and you want to have one of the squares meet or you want to fold it in half where it meets in the middle. That's your second step. And then your third step is you take these two points and you want them to meet in the middle right where that last fold was. So that way, you end up with something that looks like this. Mm -hmm. Yep. I know a lot of you got it done already and you're waiting. I just want to make sure everybody's caught up, okay? Absolutely. All right. So I think we're ready to go on to the next step. All righty. So next step. So now that we have it like this, okay, I said it's going to get hard. We are going to take these two points and we are going to fold it just in half. We're going to cover... Yeah, it's even difficult for me. <laughs> We're going to fold it in half like this. Right. Great job, y'all. Yes, because the paper is getting thick. So it's, uh, yeah. So we fold it in half like this. So we got that part. Awesome. Then we're going to fold it in half again. So we're just going to take the whole thing and then fold it down one more time. So you had your, first you had your point, then you kind of covered your point when you folded it in half, and then you're gonna take the whole thing and then fold it in half or fold it down again to cover it. All right, great job, y'all. Awesome, awesome. So the paper is getting smaller, right? Like the amount of paper you have to work with is getting smaller, it should be. That should still look something like this, right? Yes. Okay. So then what we're going to do is... It's like a boat. Um, exactly, Maddie. Great job. Yes. Great job. So then what we're going to do is take the whole thing 
and flip it over like that. Okay, so then since remember we folded it in half before so you should have a little crease right there. So you should be able to fold it in half like this. Right, so you have the crease, it's like this and we're just gonna kind of fold it in half like that. So like I said, the level of difficulty is getting there, but I know you guys can do it. Okay. Awesome. But you, you, y'all's looks a little better than mine's already. I kind of have a little ears on mine. <laughs> it's okay. So then what we're gonna do is turn it towards you. And you're gonna kind of, sorry, you're gonna take your finger, your pointer finger and just place it, hold it right here. All right. Then you're gonna take the, the paper and you're gonna kind of fold it over your finger and then press it, remove your finger and then press it down and go like that. So if you saw that we had it in half, you put your pointer finger right here. And she should end up with kind of like a hat again. Yep, and you fold it again. Or a mask, like if you <laughs> were a transformer. And then you're gonna flip it over, put your finger there again. And you're gonna do the same. You're gonna bring the paper over your finger, remove it, and then press it down. It's like I said, it's a little hard because a lot of now, I don't there. know what this looks like, but <laughs> and then you open it up, and this is called a glider. And you and this should be able to fly. So let me change my view. I know it doesn't look like it, but it flies. You should be able to pinch it in the middle, and everybody. Everybody got it. there. Uh their plane ready everybody ready to test it out all right three two one mine's did a circle and crashed and it might be on fire um <laughs> hopefully you guys your, your your plane flew farther than that now we're going to be doing one more right one more last all one right. how did it work for everybody did it work for you guys it looped nice all right, so we're gonna do one more. Um, if everybody is ready and they have their piece of paper, we can we we can get started. But I'll give you a second. Everybody, get their piece of paper. All right. And yes, I feel like I've watched. How many of you have watched Transformers? All right, and we're gonna be doing the bug last, right? Yes, the bug is the last one we're going to do. So All everybody right. grab your sheet of paper. You guys have been doing an awesome job. And I hope you guys are enjoying this. So what we're going to do is take our sheet of paper and fold it in half. Like that. Boom. Awesome. So then what we're going to do is open it up and then I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna change my camera view real quick. So now that you have your paper that's open, what you're gonna do <clears throat> is take your one point, bring it to the middle and make that crease right there. All right, now you're gonna do the same on the other side. And make that crease right there. So this is what you should have. You're muted. So like how we started with the first airplane, right? Yep, mm-hmm. So we did that. So then I'm just gonna change my camera view so I can just show you what you're next step is. So now that you have your house, right? Now you're gonna fold the whole thing in half. So like your house, so it should look like an envelope. 
Wait a second. Oh, okay. I so you're gonna that. so it's like this, and you're gonna bring it down, and it should look like an envelope. Like this, y'all. Yeah. So you had it like this, and you fold it up or down, however you're holding yep. it. Yep. Yep. Good. So let's. And I saw someone was raising their hand. I believe it was uh, Sabrina and Isabel. Were you guys raising your hand? You can put your question in chat too. We'll make sure to answer it for you. So now it should be folded. Okay. All right. So you guys have your like house looking thing or envelope per se. Okay. All right. All right, so this is where it gets difficult, all right? So then, it, just like this, how we have it, we're gonna take um, this point and this point, and we're gonna meet them in the middle, kind of how we did with the, with, the, with the glider, okay? So we're gonna have them meet in the middle, point one to, and point two. We're gonna have them meet in the middle. And this is what it should look like, kind of like what we did with the glider. So like this, I think, right? Yes, All exactly. Right. Banyan's way better at me than at, at doing this. You got doing a great job. <laughs> and I am happy to show you the book. And once at the end, I'll definitely do that. Can, yeah, can you do it one more time, Emma? Or, or, I mean, Emma asks, can you do it one more time? Can oh, you, of again? course. Yeah. So we had it this way, like our little house, right? And then I flipped it because you want the, the envelope to point, you, to point to you, okay? You want the little bottom thing to point to you. So then you're going to take the top point over here and the top point over there, and we're going to make the two meet in the middle like that. How you holding up, Hector? You doing okay, buddy? No, no, what's wrong? Let me see what you got so far. Okay, we're working on it, all right. <laughs> and I did, um, and Sheik, I did email you like these um, instructions, so you're more than welcome to share it with, the, with them so they can practice at home. Yeah, great job. Great job, Hector. What I'm going to do, we're going to put up this video, but I'm going to email all of you specific instructions on how to do these two, so that way you can practice along with the video as well. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. All right, so now that we did our two points, everybody's there. Awesome. So next, we're going to take, we should have a little, remember when we folded the two points in the beginning? You should have this kind of flopping, right? And you're gonna bring that right up to right there. We all have that. So this is where we were. And then just gonna bring that up. Awesome job. And this is what it should look like. All right, guys. So this was here, this point, and we're gonna mm -hmm. hold it down. Yep. Just like that. Awesome. All right. We are almost done. So then the next step is we are folding this whole thing in half. So we're going to, because we already did the, so we're going to take our fingers, put it right here in the middle because we had folded it in half in the, be in the beginning and we're just folding it in half like this. So like this? Yes. Okay. Exactly. And then we're at the last part, guys. We are at the last part. So then we are taking this fold and we are bringing it down like this to meet the, this end piece. So we're going to bring the fold and bring it like that. And then we're going to flip our paper around and do the same fold on this side. We end up with something like this, right? Yes. 
And this is our bug. All right. And this is kind of, this is the, the bug paper. With, <laughs> and then this is the bug that we just made. Now this one was a little bit more difficult, but I see yeah. a lot of you did a great job. Katie, nice job. And if you weren't able to keep up or you messed up a little bit, that's okay. No problem. We're going to be able to work on some stuff again. That's the reason why it's great with paper. We can always just grab another sheet. Yep. And I see you have some of your other ones, Hector. Let's do this. Since this was the last one, we could use this plane or any other plane that you have. And we're going to do one more test flight, okay? So on the count of three, when we're ready, we're going to let it go. One, two, three. <laughs> that one looped. It was up in the air and then it kind of. Mine's just hooked right to the left. That's all <laughs> I have to do. All right. And if you felt that your plane wasn't perfect, that's okay. If you made a hat like Maddie, or if you made a little duck mouth like Kobe and you just want to make those fly too, I mean, you know, it's not going to fly like an airplane, but if you just want to, hey, go ahead. It's all right. <laughs> just make sure you pick up afterwards, okay? Right, that's the important part. <laughs> I feel like all of our, all of ours crashed to some degree. Willows went really far, so yeah, you, you won that round. <laughs> so let me ask: anybody have any questions about what we've done so far about these planes? I want to make sure that everyone gets a chance to ask questions. Um, and Ben, yours went far too. That's awesome. Uh, Matisse, you could just ask the question. You don't have to raise your hand. Doesn't look like anybody has any questions, which is fine. Um, you wrote inside of your hat. That's cool. Emma, I'm glad you had fun. Miss Yamar, is there anything you want to add? Um, the only thing I wanted to add is one, I had so much fun with you guys. I know this is something that my two little boys enjoy too. This is the book again. Um, it is from like Us Born Books and More. And um, it's called 100 Paper Play. 100 paper planes to fold and fly. So the cool thing about the book is that it gives you the instructions, which I have scanned and emailed um, to Mr. She Cool, then forward it to you guys. And then it comes with all these cool pieces of paper. But as you see that you can use your regular piece of paper too, you don't even really need the book, just instructions. Um, and you guys can have fun the rest of the summer. So this was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm so proud of you guys because we started off easy, medium, and then it got hard and you guys kept up with it throughout the whole time. And it was just a blast. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your summer. And thank you guys for having me. And Mr. Sheik, thank you for inviting me to do this. It was a lot of fun. Awesome.